So your interesting theory about the the moon being placed there, and that's what kind of jump starts a whole massive flood. You know what I mean? I mean, but you look at every culture in the world, and there is a massive flood story. So maybe, uh, unfortunately, you don't really get the moon aspect with every culture, but it is kind of cool seeing that as a tie-in, or just imagining a mo- like a sky without the moon. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't even be bright. Like there's no the, the starlight's not enough to light up a. Not that I mean. Mm. Well, I plus they see. had all the mist. So there's not even stars. Yeah. Or if it is, it's all like kind of wavy, like when you look underwater. Yeah. But it, isn't there like, isn't that what a bunch of people say? Uh, and I may be getting it wrong, but like, isn't that what like the flat earth angle is that there's like that, that firmament or whatever? Or is that just a like a biblical thing? I thought it was like, I thought the flat earthers grabbed onto that and were like. I think so. Yeah. And so like that would not, I'm I'm going to say lend credibility to that theory. But what I mean is a, like a firmament layer of sorts, not so much that the earth has to be flat in order for there to be water above the surface. So what if they I were mean, just like, if we add firmament to this, we'll get the, the religious people to believe yeah, too. That's probably exactly what they were like. Yeah. But they're like, oh, these guys. Simple. It'll look great on Instagram. Trust me. It will look great on Instagram. Thanks, B.O.B. for starting that trend. <laughs> AKA Bobby Ray. Oh, you know, going back to the uh, the rain. So if this this is true, and we know that the floods probably happened around eleven thousand years ago, hmm. that means the moon has moon hasn't really been around that long. I know. Yeah, for something that's five point six billion years, according to you know some people. <laughs> I mean, eleven thousand. What was it doing the rest of the time? It was just hanging out. It was on a, in a different part of the galaxy. Remember, it got here. Yeah, behind a comet. It was in a shady section of the galaxy. It's right. Like, I need to get by, by that Earth where things are good. I need, to be, I need to make waves of my own. Ha ha, see? See yep. what I mean? Like, it was a lonely moon, and he was, it was his origin story, and he was like, I need to go make some waves. We need to get that w- water out of the mist and put That's it on right. the ground, on the surface of the yeah. earth. Make some waves, make some earthquakes, because I got too close. Let's see where it goes. So, when uh, all this flooding happens, of course, the re- reptilians would escape back to the moon to escape the damage the, their creation had brought. Hmm. Yeah, the reptiles aren't necessarily big fans of water. That's true. Yeah. Wow. Things are just checking out for these reptiles. <laughs> and by that, I mean lizard people. Yeah, for sure. Lizard. The lizard people. Insert dramatic pause. I'm seeing if that line makes sense. Soon the gods bring a lunar companion and it devastates... No, that does not make sense. And it devastates the known world and its climate long ago. We need to do trailers. I know. <laughs> Could this have been the cause of the great flood many parts of the world experienced 11,000 years ago? It is a lot to wrap your head around, but there are people working on this theory now. How many? Probably not a lot. Eight. No. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. Cut to like 80s. You know, then you get a nice synthesizer bed going. Before we get into a little bit more, are you feeling this hollow moon yet? I like the stories behind I like the, the older stories of it, like where it was like placed there That's... and all the water falls. And you're just like, whoa. I do like going into myths, though, and, and seeing. You're going into mist? Myth. Oh, myth. Like like ancient myths or, or the people, you know. <laughs> I picture Mike, Mike Tyson again. Mike Tyson's going to be like, <laughs> anytime there's something that sounds like it's even remotely close to the, a different word, but Mike Tyson saying it, I was going into the myth. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's perfect. Mu- it's much better to have him doing that than biting yeah. your ear. Yeah. Thanks for that, Mike. Come, come around again, please. Yeah. yeah. No problem, Scott. <laughs> I did come up with, a, I did come across a couple strange things. Could you say a strange thing happened on your way to this episode? Yep, on there the way go. on the way to the hollow moon, something strange. There you go. This way came. Mm-hmm. Mixing a few now, but I'll allow it. One of the examples that was given many times in various places were the unemotional or maybe just troubled expressions on the faces of the astronauts of the first lunar landing. They looked pretty uh, troubled. Yeah, and I I didn't actually see that until that video we watched together, and I was like, wow, yeah, they legitimately, they're like, ugh, like, it's almost like, they're just like, it's over, it's all over. Yeah, and I have to lie for the rest of my life. Yeah, that would be kind of a bummer. Yeah, you do this great thing, and you're like an American hero, but you can't tell the truth. Yeah, maybe that explains why Buzz Aldrin's a little little choppy. He's just a little rough around the edges. You say something, he's like, I'm going to punch in the mouth. Yeah, he got a little bit too much of that moon dust in his system. Running on moon dust and tang. (laughs) Beat your ass. Probably. Thanks, Buzz. Hey, that's what Tang advertised back in the day. It'll beat your ass. Tang. Top sponsor of WW whatever. 
Yeah. Any That's of those WWW. Wrestling. We also found that there are many people out there that feel NASA's budget was cut after finding out the moon was hollow. They're just like bummed out or something like that. Well, like, I mean, I, I've seen that all over the place. And I'm sure you've had about how NASA has their, their budget cut after they started doing all this space exploration. Yeah, I don't actually think I've heard that. But I don't believe it's totally true. I just think that once we got there and beat the Russians, they're like, okay, let's use our money for weapons again. Can we blow up anything from the moon? Yeah, now like, that well, we no, show- that's not what we're supposed to be doing on there. Well, then well, get the hell off of it, you bastards. R- Reagan said we could have our, our Star Wars system in space to protect us. In the movie Moonfall, there is an AI that our interstellar ancestors built that revolted. The AI has searched for our artificial moon for years so that it, it could wipe out the last of the humans. I mean, that tracks with everything that we've ever seen in film across the history of AI. You know, that's always the game. You look at iRobot, you look at Terminator, look at all these movies, you're like, what? And what are we doing right now? We're looking into AI. What a brilliant species we are, right? Like, hey, wouldn't it be funny if we made this thing that kills us all off? I oh, think, hey, I have an idea. Let's make this thing that kills us all off. Yeah. Even, uh, I believe it was 2001, A Space Odyssey. The bad guy was AI. The bad guy was AI. And that was in the 70s they made that? Mm. Before we even really knew what AI was? Yeah, 2001 was a different odyssey, unfortunately, all its own. Um, but the movie back in the day probably didn't have that kind of premonition ahead. Yeah, That's fine. A moment of silence is all right. And we continue. It is said the astronomers found a 12-mile bridge over the Sea of Crises in 1954. The Sea of Crises is what I named my teenage years. That checks out. It does. It I- does. 12-mile bridge, though. Is that one of the structures, like off one of the big structures, or is that just like a random bridge? Like we see, you know, staircases in the woods, a bridge on the moon. I mean, it's over the Sea of Crises, so maybe there was a sea there back in the day. Maybe they had a lot of crises on it, and they're like, we need to put a bridge over this damn thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I would do. So the moon has bases. There is something black on the surface that is 250 miles long and 50 miles wide. Well, what does that spell out for you? Hmm? Landing strip for gigantic ships okay. that would later attack the world in, in the TV, television miniseries V. Okay. I like all your off-the-wall references that no one of you know any generation of the past three would probably grasp. I like that. Uh, listeners? More of that, please. Listeners, yeah. you've heard of V. <laughs> you know the letter V, right? It's for great. Vendetta. It was a great show back in the 80s. That's what, yeah, I think that's, I think you've mentioned that. Yeah. A few times now. With reptilians, even. If anyone has watched the show V because Christian mentioned it a few times, be sure to let him know. It really uh, does wonders for his, his mental health. It does. There's reports on of clouds and lightning on the moon, along with strange moving shadows. Is there, have there been any actual like, photos or anything like that, or just people with telescopes? Like, is that lightning? I think it's mainly people with telescopes yeah. seeing stuff like that, like ah. the, the flashing lights that, that some people say they see on the moon. What's that one video that seems to make a circulation where it's like someone holding an iPhone camera or something like that, and then they zoom in a thousand X and... You're like butted up to the moon. You see these little ships flying by. I've seen that. That's pretty cool looking. I don't you know, know what I mean? Sure. But like, how does anyone think that that's real? Well, you can put your phone up to a telescope or you can connect your phone to a telescope now. But does that, that, that allows you to just zoom in and zoom in and zoom in and zoom in? I don't know, man. I mean, like, the one thing I will say for that video is that when it comes to editing that type of stuff, if you're doing like special effects or you're adding like images or, or different uh, like 3D models into it, handshaking is a very hard thing to track. And so there, the tracking on that video is very well done. Like if it was done, if it's an actual hoax and it's not real, then it was made by someone that actually knows what they're doing when it comes to like special effects right. and, and all that, like post-production and stuff. Because yeah, every time I see a video, I'm like, I am scared at how real this looks. But I, it also doesn't compute because I'm like, you're zooming in way too much. Like there's no, even with like a little cheap ass, you know, telescopic lens or something you toss in your iPhone, there's no way there's you're getting pe- that close. There's people paying thousands of dollars for their backyard telescopes and they can connect to your oh, phone. Oh, for sure that. Yeah. And you can zoom in that. And the moon's not really that far away for a telescope. How many miles is it? Not, I don't know, man. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> I mean, it's That's... a lot to us, but yeah, we can get there relatively. But we don't have telescopes. I've looked at it through a telescope. Oh, same. Yeah, my dad used to have a telescope and, you know, living in a desert, prime location. Yeah, it would be fun to have a telescope, but it wouldn't work. 